All right, moving on. St. Obi's family denies claims he suffered in his marriage. Following the article published by filmmaker Zig Zulu, the family of late actor Obi Nawafo, popularly known as St. Obi, has described as false, malicious and insensitive the claims written that Linda, wife of the deceased actor, maltreated him during their marriage. Just so you know, Zeke Zulu published an article in which it is claimed that St. Obi's marriage to Linda was largely troubled. According to him, St. Obi withdrew from everyone, including his colleagues in the movie industry, shortly after his marriage. He alleged that Obi had a running battle with his in laws who saw him as a gold digger because his wife is a top shot in a telecommunication company. In a statement signed by his older sisters, Ugoeze, Edith, Chinyere, Obichuku, and Mrs. Freda Umachuku, the family dissociated themselves from Zig Zulu's claims, stating that they do not in any way represent the Linda they know. The statement reads, Re, demise of St. Obi, Mr. Obina Umwafo, our attention has been drawn to the publication by one Mr. Zig Zulu Okafo concerning the death of our son, Mr. Obi Naunwa, for popularly known as Saint Obi, and the accompanying negative commentary in social and other media portraying his widow in an unfair and most defamatory manner. This is in no way, shape, or form an accurate portrayal of the Linda that we know and relate with. The Nwafo family also views the said article by Mr. Okafo as sad and most unfortunate. It was neither written in consultation with any member of the family nor authored with our consent or authority. We totally dissociate ourselves from it. It continues, the views and allegations contained therein are entirely the opinion of the writer. They are false, malicious and insensitive to the wife children and entire family he left behind. This is a mourning period for the family and while we appreciate the condolences of friends, fans and well-wishers, we ask that the family's privacy be respected at this time. The funeral rites will be communicated to the public in due course. May the soul of our dearly beloved brother, son, father and husband rest in perfect peace. Amen. And of course. So uh, ever since his death, there have been different rumors. There have been a lot of things being said. And uh, the most prominent one was by Zig Zulu. And he had a lot to say. Like, it was a lengthy post accusing the wife of basically being the architect of St. Obi's problem and his demise. Because he's, he claims that um, the marriage collapsed. There were a lot of things that happened that the public was not privy to. But at the end of the day, all of this stretched. St. Obi was sick and then he got depressed because he couldn't see his kids for the longest. He was trying to see his kids and at the same time, his wife, um, I think he said his wife went to Ubun State to file for divorce, making it harder for him to solve the whole thing. So it was just a whole lengthy post and I was wondering what happened, when did all of this happen? So now this statement by the family stating that all of that is not true. I've seen different comments on that post. Some people are saying, oh, it could be damage control. And others are saying, well, it could be that maybe the family didn't even know what was going on. And it was just between himself and his wife. But according to Zeke Zulu, he, said, he also stated that um, the wife's brothers came to the house to beat him up one time. They, they jumped the fence and all of that. And it's just, it's just sad because if he really did go through all of this, then it's really, really sad. And I just... And may soul just rest in peace. But at the end of the day, the family coming to counter all the claims, that's another ballgame entirely. Because we already believe that. Now we're hearing this too. We have to believe this. Who do we believe? All right. Uh, well, I saw in the comment section two people reacting to it and people saying stuff like, um, especially when I think Ze it's um, Zebedjero Zebe Zebe yes. had to say something. Yes. That, and he stated that, uh, yeah, I, I don't, well, according to what I read, mm -hmm. that when he said he was going to get back to St. Toby or something yeah. and he never did, and he, he heard later that he passed. Died, yeah. So people were saying, oh, that means you you're, you're weren't a good friend to him in the first place. And some people were saying that, okay, so if he had discussed such things like this with you, uh, and then after you didn't do anything, and after his death, you're telling the public for what? Uh, it would maybe, as you said, it was a private person. It would have really liked to take some secrets to the grave with him. It's, well, I wouldn't uh, know whether this thing is true because now that the family has come out mm -hmm. to debunk the whole thing. But if he, 
it's actually true that this happened to him. Uh, some people are really in the public space, like, oh, they are actors, they are, you know, this and that. But then again, they really like their privacy. They yeah. really do not like people getting into their problems. Mm -hmm. We've seen where um, actors will have terminal disease yes. and they would just beg not to, for the public not to know about it mm -hmm. because, yeah, public would, the public would like to, like, maybe contribute money mm -hmm. and, you know, donate to that cause, but they just don't want anything of that sort. They will prefer to die like that than people to, you know, know be talking them. about yeah. them or know about what they're going through. Um, it's just so sad altogether. Very sad. Uh, whether it's this party that mm -hmm. is saying the truth or this party that is trying to, you know, con put some control damage on that or something. But if they have said as a family that it's not true mm -hmm. and they just want us to, you know, maintain our calm and not, you know, pry into any situation like that, then we're going to respect them and just leave it at that. So um, the, the question is, what's the intention of... Um, Zig Zulu by putting out this publication. It could be right? anything because so, there are some things that, you know, yeah. uh, some people feel like perhaps they owe you a certain yeah. thing. Yeah, they owe their fans at least. This is, you know, what I'm trying done. to say is that, I mean, if someone went through that, right, he went through all that travels and problems in his life and he's a public figure, um, figure and he kept it private to himself, what makes you think that even after passing, he wants you to come yeah. out put and put out this out? So this is even a smear on his image as the center B that we know. He probably didn't want it to be out there, even if he went through such um, 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 problems. And then the family has come out to say, this is, this is not the case. They are sitting on it. If, I, if they sue Zeke for what he has put out, they would win because it is a smear on the yep. image of the person. And this person and the is, dead is, is, is deceased. Yeah, yeah. They cannot come and see. Exactly. So, happening. I mean, I've been in the industry for a long time to know that, see, trust me, there's a lot of cloud chasing in the industry for the, for the, for the craziest reasons, right? This guy was alive, right? He, he, if, he, if he came to you to tell you that he had these problems, he had these issues, why didn't you at that time try to help him, right? There's so many times, so many people, so many victims, so many people have died. They've reached out to friends and family. Yeah. They reached out to friends in the industry. Nobody did anything. They passed away. But when they now pass, you come out and you see so many things. Oh, I was the last person he talked to. I was the one he called. What happened? Take your trophy now. Take your trophy and go. Hmm. So it's totally wrong. If he had any issues in his marriage and he kept it private, please let it be private. Is it that way? There was a reason he kept it private. So why yeah. are you coming to smear his image. It's just so sad altogether, as Very I said sad. earlier. Mm. It's not his business in any way to even come and write that thing. It was not his business. It was not. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Amen.